Hello, boys and girls. Good evening. Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's catechism time. Ah! Now, the first thing we must do is review our catechism questions from previous weeks. Question one. What is our only hope in life and death? That we are not our own, but belong to God. Yes. Now, question two. What is God? God is the creator of everyone and everything. Very good. Question three. How many persons are there in God? There are three persons in one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Very nice. Well done, boys and girls. Now, on to question four. This week's question, question four, goes like this. It's written on the board behind me. How and why did God create us? Answer, God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Now, once again, question four. How and why did God create us? Answer, God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Now, when God made us, he did so in a wise and good way, just as we read in the Bible. All the way back in Genesis chapter 1, we read this in verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Now, what does it mean that we are made in God's image? Well, it means he made us like him in a certain way. Not that we look like him. He doesn't have a body like we do. He has a spirit. But he made us with a personality like his so that we can know him and love him like he knows us and loves us. People are utterly unique in this way. In all of creation, there's nothing else that God made in his image like us. Not dogs or cats, not whales or kangaroos, not chipmunks or even bald eagles. Oh, oh, oh. What's that you say? Well, no, Mr. Monkey Bottom, not even monkeys, I'm afraid. Well, I'm so sorry. Now, what does it mean that God made us to glorify him? Well, we will talk about this in some detail in the weeks to come, because question six is all about how we glorify God. But here's a preview for you. To glorify God means to know God and how wonderful he is, to love him and to trust him and to honor him in obeying his commands. Well, more on that soon. So this question teaches us that God made us in his image to glorify him and also that God made people male and female. Now, that means that when he created human beings in his image, he made two sorts of people. Men and women, boys and girls, males and females. Males and females are all human beings made by God, but they're not exactly the same. There are some special things that are special about girls and some special things that are special about boys. Both boys and girls are made in the image of God. Both men and women are made to glorify him. Neither one is more important than the other. And both are loved by God just the same. It's a wonderful world that God has made, so full of wonderful variety and differences, all working together, and human beings are no different. He made us the way that we are, male and female, to work together and to glorify him. And it was good and wise and wonderful that he did. And this is why we have moms and dads. Aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, grandmothers and grandfathers. Now, let me illustrate how wonderful this is 
for you with some examples. Mr. Monkey Bottom, the video, please. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Monkey Bottom. <laughs> now, as you can see, what God has done in making us male and female is wonderful. We aren't all the same, but we're all made in His image to glorify Him. And so, boys and girls, remember that and be thankful for how God has made you. Girls, don't think that being a boy would be better and wish that you were a boy. God made you exactly as you are, for good reason. And it's a wonderful thing that he did. Boys, don't think that God made some mistake and you'd be better off as a girl. He didn't make a mistake. Not with you and not with anybody. He knew exactly what he was doing when he made you. He is the creator. And he created us. When he did, he did a good job. Which brings us back to our question. Question four. How and why did God create us? Answer, God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Now, repeat after me. Question four, how and why did God create us? Answer, God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. Oh, excellent boys and girls. Very good, very good. You're learning so much. I'm so excited by this catechesis. Now, that's all for this week. We'll come back next week and talk more about what God has created. But goodbye for now. Bye! Bye!